Well, welcome back. This is Hyperlinks Analog Simple RC Design Part 2. In Part 1 we created this simple resistor capacitor network and in Part 2 we're going to set it up for simulation and then uh, run the simulation. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you this command test bench options. This is where you select the simulation kernel that you're going to target uh, for the running and the operation of the analysis. So Hyperlinks Analog comes with a built-in simulation kernel. There is an upgrade to the high capacity, high performance ELDO simulation kernel. And then the top of the line is moving all the way up to the most advanced advanced uh, digital mixed signal simulation capability there is in the market, which includes tools like Model Sim and ELDO, and then mixed together with capability support VHDL EMS. In this example, we're just going to use the built-in simulation kernel. And then we're going to generate a netlist. So once we have our netlist, we're going to define the simulation sources. So when you're going to run an analysis, you need to be able to specify your input waveforms, your input conditions. One of the capabilities that's in Hyperlinks Analog that differentiates it in the PCB market is that the schematic itself is kept pure in the sense of not being cluttered up with symbols for um, sine wave generators. So in this case, let's go ahead and create a new source. So wave in. Let's connect it to the design. Positive goes to signal end. Ground goes to ground. Let's define the sine wave. A nice simple sine wave. And as you can see in the spreadsheet, you can create quite a few simulation sources. And then if you ever want to edit one of them, you select it, hit the modify button, go change whatever parameter you would like to. So now we have the simulation set up in terms of the simulation source being defined. So let's go ahead and run the simulation. Now you can have as many different uh, experiment commands as you want. So let's just go ahead and type one in. DC analysis, time to net, domain analysis. In this case we're just going to run a simple time domain analysis for one second. And then run on through. So now anytime we wanted to use that uh, that uh, setup, we can use it again. I'll show you that in a minute. But what's happened is the simulator's run, and it's brought up Easy Wave, which is the new waveform analysis and viewing capabilities built into uh, Hyperlinks Analog. So in this case, let's just show you some basic stuff. Uh, we can create multiple waveforms in the same window if we want to. Of course, if we wanted to, we could. Stack, stack those waveforms into one display. Of course, you can do it, you know, shift select, get a bunch of them at once. Come over here, create a whole new window with all of them in the same window. And there's, you know, normal zoom capabilities. And it's a simple RC network, but you can get quite complicated waveforms with a simple sine wave in. So, where is our we're looking at a current. So now let's go ahead and add our volts. And you'll see what's happened here is we've actually gotten two different Y axes, a current axis and a voltage axis. So now we're able to mix in our voltage representations. So there's our input signal, there's our output signal. And here's the current running through the different components in the design. So we can see in the, just comparing the input voltage to the output voltage, and actually let's do that. It's one of the reasons that EasyWave is so neat, is it's very easy to do new things. That wasn't really what I wa wanted to do there. That's what I wanted to do. 
Let's zoom in a little bit. So there's some more capabilities. There's lots of neat capabilities here. But uh, actually, let's tack these up for a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. Making measurements between multiple waveforms is easy. Select, drag, release. Then you've got your markers. You can slide your markers around the waveforms. Of course, you can do the same thing in, in, inside of a single waveform if you wanted to. You can set up all kinds of neat features. Um, let's show some more. Let's add some cursors. And you can march your cursors along throughout the flow, throughout the time domain. Look at exact values. All right, let's stagger it back out and go back in here. Just a couple more features since this is just a introductory. But one of the nice things you can do is this measurement tool. And let's say we wanted a peak to peak on the input signal. We could apply that. So let's take a look at this load. Pop out, and you can see these peak-to-peak -peak values. Oh. So, essentially our little circuit here, the de decoupling capacitor, look back at the waveform, it's reduced the voltage from 125 volts down to 14.5 volts. So it hasn't done anything mysterious. But there's lots of neat features built into the analysis capabilities. And one of them I'm not really going to touch on much here is the waveform calculator. There's all kinds of nice functions built into it. Constants built into it. It allows you to drag and drop um, your waveforms into a calculator for further processing. So that has some neat applications. But that's essentially it. In terms of hyperlinks analog, it's so well integrated into the PCB design flow that there really isn't much you need to do, you know, in addition to your normal PCB design objectives. You create the net list, you define your source so the, the waveforms going into the design. And then you set up and you run your simulation. Here again we see that command file. That does bring up one other aspect I meant to show off, which is the organization of the information from both a hyperlinks analog and a DX designer perspective. So as we've been working on this design, we created the net list. We got our spice file generated, and that's built up. When we created our source, we had a spice input generated. Our experiment file was uh, created so we can reuse it again. You can have as many experiment files as you want, and then you just set which one you want to be current, then the next time you invoke the simulator, it will immediately seed it, or you can pick it there. We'll get into more advanced applications of hyperlinks analog in future videos. Thank you for your time.